So for those of you who are new around here, we've talked about MadPat being a major victim of unjustified hate before. Like, dude, all these deadbeat Twitter users just have the most ridiculous takes when it comes to MadPat. Like, they just have nothing good to say, and all their hate is completely unreasonable. A good example would be, I think, a month ago when we talked about MadPat being dragged on Twitter for making a theory back in 2013 trying to find out the gender of a Team Fortress 2 character. I thought it was a pretty interesting theory, but some people on Twitter thought that it was transphobic because looking to find out somebody's gender is transphobic apparently, which I don't think I need to be the one to tell you that it's insane, but I'll do it anyway. Yeah, that's insane. So in general, Twitter doesn't have a very fond outlook on MatPat, you know? I mean, they just hate him because they ain't him, I guess. I'm not sure. Now, I had no plans to talk about MatPat again on this channel. I thought that everything I needed to say had been said. But then I stumbled across some tweets that exhibit IQ levels reminiscent of those of gorillas caged in zoos. Like, I'll show you in a second, but before I even do, it's like... It you know, it's tweets like these that make me want to advocate for Twitter requiring you to have a certain IQ before you send out a tweet. But I digress, let's take a look at this tweet here, okay? July 23rd, 2020. In his video about the Joker, he opens up with a skit. There's a character that's his mother, but it's him photoshopped to look like a woman with pronounced five o'clock shadow. The joke is that a woman with facial hair is funny and deserves mocking. Now, I don't even know where to start with this one. Like, this is just so absurd to begin with. So, you're the one who said that a woman with facial hair is funny and deserves mocking. Nobody else said that. That's you. Those are the words that you're saying. Also, I don't even think that humor was something that MatPat was even trying to achieve with this skit, okay? I mean, he's not a comedy channel. He's entertainment, okay? So, saying that he was trying to make a joke here is a little bit of a reach. And you're saying a woman with facial hair deserves mocking? Uh, he doesn't even have facial hair. Are you blind? I'm looking at this right now. I don't even see one little scruff or duff on that face. But I'm just curious, right? I mean, what did- what did you want from this, okay? Do you think MatPat is gonna call up his mother and be like, Mom, I want you to take a high-res photo of yourself that I can use for my video skit. I don't think that's necessary, dude. I think that if he wants to put a little wig on himself, that's fine. I mean, you're looking way too deep into this one, homie, okay? No one said that there was a joke there. It's not that MatPat is trying to be transphobic or anything with this. Also, the point that you're trying to make with this is so fundamentally flawed because MatPat doesn't edit his own videos. MatPat isn't the one who's in the video editor editing his own videos that he's gonna upload to YouTube. He has somebody to edit his videos for him, that person then sends MatPat the final product of the video, and then he gives it the okay. Like, there's not that much there. I mean, were you seriously imagining MatPat to look at that skit, think, oh my god, that's super duper insensitive and transphobic. I'm gonna need you to go back and edit this thing for another four hours, and yeah, get rid of this entire skit. We're gonna scrap this now, because it could be offensive. Yeah, I'm sorry that MatPat doesn't look at things the same way that your offended ass might. Like, I I'm sorry that MatPat Pat wasn't looking at this thing thinking, well, oh my god, dude, do you see this skit in the beginning of the video? I, I mean, dude, some people might interpret that as me making fun of women with facial hair, which, I mean, dude, we cannot have that on the Film Theorist's channel. No, dude, he didn't do that, because, A, he's not gonna overwork his editor, okay? His editor has worked hard enough on this video, he's not gonna tell him, yo, dude, yo, cancel all your plans this evening and get back on Adobe Premiere, okay? I need you to redo this entire skit, because one single person on Twitter might, might take some minor issue with the execution of our skit. No, dude, that's insane, because if that was the case, if MatPat was to look through all of his videos for anything that would ever be offensive, you realize that you'd get one game theory video a year? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, bro. And I hate to break it to you, but if that was the case, MatPat would be homeless right now. I think you're kind of forgetting that the Game Theorist channel and the Film Theorist channel is how MatPat, I don't know, makes a living. So for you to be so entitled to literally suggest that MatPat should, you know, put his channel on the back burner just to see if he's offending anybody, and completely cut himself off from any potential income that he could be making literally during a pandemic when it's harder to make money, you must be out of your mind. I'm sorry, but you must be. Anyway, that's tweet number one in the books. Now, I found a second tweet here, and let's just take a look. So, I guess this tweet here is criticizing a very old theory that MatPat had done on Super Mario. This tweet here says, calls Mario a maniac, even though mania and PTSD are two different things, and generally villainizes the character and claims that he has PTSD. Now, I have to ask you a question, okay? Are you gonna cry about it? Are you actually gonna cry about it? Because it looks like you're about to throw a tantrum on behalf of Super Duper Mario, okay? This dude doesn't even know that this theory is being made about him because Super Mario, believe it or not, isn't real. And you're over here like, MatPat called him a maniac even though he might have PTSD. Like, shut your ass up. You know, if Mario had a problem with being called a maniac, I think he would say something. Oh, wait a second. He can't. Why is that? 
Well, you know, he's only, like, not at all real. You know, Mario kind of came to life in some boardroom in Japan. You know, they kind of, like, how do I say this, decided to create this guy. You know, he, he was a series of drawings, then he became a coating of pixels, and, and now he's on, like, every Nintendo console ever. So, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you would have something, you would, you would maybe have something if Mario was a real dude who, you know, had a life, you know, maybe a wife and kids. But I'm sorry, I gotta tell you, Santa Claus is not real here because homie Super Mario, he doesn't exist the moment you turn off the Wii. Now, this next tweet here, just heads up guys, you know, listen dude, I'm a pretty funny guy, but this tweet is just so hilarious, so just like strap in, okay? Matt Pat, more like... Matt Chat. Jesus Christ, dude. Seinfeld, is that you? Bro, are you, are you back? Are you out of retirement, dude? Dude, that was hilarious, dude. Matt Pat, more like Matt Chat. Like, I see what you did there, bro. You took the Pat and, and you replaced it with another word for shit. And it's funny because you don't like him, so you're comparing him to fecal matter. I mean, dude. That's pretty funny. Anyway, this last tweet here is absurd in, in, on so many levels. So this person is trying to call out MatPat for some things that he's previously said in videos. MatPat indirectly says, if you have a uh, thing, you're a man, or a thing is what makes you a man. Now this one I love because th the very small detail makes all the difference, okay? There's a word in there that kind of invalidates the entirety of what you're saying, uh, the word indirectly. So by that logic, right, the quotes that you put in are not actually his quotes because he indirectly directly says it. You're assuming something that he's trying to say based off something that he literally hasn't said. And when it comes down to accusing people of stuff like this, right, transphobia, homophobia and stuff, in my opinion, I feel like if you're gonna accuse somebody of that, you kinda gotta have, like, something that they've directly said or, you know, a very heavy insinuation as to, like, something that they're doing that's homophobic. Otherwise, dude, in my opinion, I just think it's best that you keep your mouth shut, okay? Because honestly, dude, those are, like, charged accusations. And Matt Pat is a great guy, you know, he's done all this charity work. I don't even need to go through all the good stuff that he's done. I just feel like, you know, even if he hadn't done anything good, like, like, you know, like charity work or anything, I feel like it's just unnecessary to just go on Twitter and just, you know, accuse him of stuff with such thin evidence that it's laughable. Matt Pat makes millions of kids smile every single day, and he teaches kids about stuff that they may not learn in schools with his theories, dude. I mean, he's a good guy overall. And that's not to excuse anything bad that he may or may not do in the future, right? But I'm just saying, when you're, like, reaching this hard to try to accuse him of something, at at that point, I just think it's best if you just shut up. Like, seriously, dude. Because literally, you're saying, oh, he indirectly says. No, get get a quote from him that he directly says, or else stop talking, you know? But yeah, that about wraps it up for this video. If you guys have enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Leave a comment saying chocolate if you've made it to the end of this video, and I will try to heart your comments. Go follow me over on my social medias and join the Discord server. Links all in the description below. Special thank you to my channel members for your continued support. It really helps me out to make the content that I want to make. But of course, with that all being said, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.